Oh yeah, we're rolling, mixing and stirring, measuring flowers. Hey, hi! This is Lola, and this is Milo, and in this video, we're going to show you how to make gingerbread, gingerbread shapes. We are. So, Milo, have you washed your hands? Yes. Have you, Lola? Yes. Brilliant. Let's cook along. The equipment we'll need for this recipe is baking tray, a selection of bowls, a sieve, and a juicer. Weighing scales, a grater, some scissors, a knife, fork and spoon, a wooden spoon, a fish slice or spatula, a measuring spoon, a sharp knife, a rolling pin, some cutters and a chopping board. The ingredients we'll need, Milo, do you know any of these ingredients? Can you help me? Orange. Yep. Cherries. Yep. Raisins, sugar, wholemeal flour. Plain flour. What's that? What have we got there? We've got ginger there. Ginger. And cinnamon. Cinnamon. Bicarbonate of soda. Sunflower spread or polyunsaturated spread. And some eggs. And baking paper. We're ready to get going. Lola, I need to start you off with grating the orange and then I'm going to get Milo to line the baking trays. Lola, if you can grate the zest of the orange for me, because we need this in our biscuits. We're going to grate our orange using the small grates. Move the orange down the grater gently in one direction. There we go then, Lola. In the meantime, I'm going to get Milo to give me a hand cutting the paper to size. We need to put the baking trays on your board and we need some scissors. So here we go then, Milo. I'm going to hold the paper and then I want you to cut that way round in line with the baking tray. Lovely bit of teamwork here. Good work, Milo. We can line our baking tray. Let's put myself to the side. Whilst Lola's finishing off her grating, I'm going to put the oven on. With a grow note nearby, turn on your oven onto about 180 to 160 for a fan assisted or a gas mount for. Lola's finished with the grating. We've got some excess in there. Look, Lola, do you want to use your fingers just to pull it out? It's nice and smooth inside the grater, but do be careful. There we go. That, oh, Perfect. That is a Give lot it a tap. of orange. That is a lot of orange. So Milo, I need you to juice this orange. Let me cut it for you. I'm going to use my bridge now just to give it a cut through. And now squeeze. And there we go. And that's great for squeezing. And now squeeze. You can hold those with your fingers. It steadies the actual juicer and it allows Milo to press down harder, releasing more of the juice. Squeeze your hands right over the top. Push your thumbs and your fingers into <laughs> it. Oh my goodness, hands of steel. That's, Brilliant. That is definitely done. That's definitely done. So we have our zest and our juice. Next bit we need to do is beating. We need to lightly tap the egg with the back of a knife into a small bowl. Milo, do you think you could do that? Here we go, there's one. So what we need to do, do you want to tap it or do you want to hold it? Oh, this stops shell getting into the bowl. Just go gentle. You yeah, that was great. <laughs> Brilliant. If ever you touch raw egg, make sure you wash your hands with warm soapy water straight away. So what we need to do next is add two of the tablespoons of juice in. Can you add two of these into the egg? There we go. Pop that in. And a bit more. There we go. Lovely. Great work there, Milo. And then later we need to put so all the zest from the orange. That'd be great. I'm going to use a fork just to give it a mix. If you bring the fork round rapidly, moving it around the bowl, make sure your fork is making scoops underneath and over the top to make the mixture. Perfect. Thank you, Lola. There we go. So the next part we need to do is sieve. We need to get our flour. We need our scales. Yes, you can, of course. And I'll get Lola to see if, if you measure out the flour. We need to press zero on the weighing scales once we've got our bowl on ready. We need to weigh out 125 grams of plain flour and wholemeal flour. So let's get a spoon. So our numbers are going up. Milo's filling up the bowl with the plain flour. 41. Keep going, Milo. Lola, could you get me the bowl so you could sieve the two flowers together? Thank you. 
there. There we go, that will do. Would you like to do the brown flower as well now, Milo? Go back to zero. Perfect. So we've got both our flowers there together. Great job, give me five. There we go, if you can sieve that for me, Lola. Now, sieving is really important. We've got it over a fresh clean bowl, tip both the flowers in, and we're giving ourselves a little bit of height. The height gives us the air that we need to help us give that lovely soft and smooth texture. Well done, Lola. Or what we can also we can do, you can do a little trick. You can use a just a spoon. If you're finding it that you're getting it everywhere on the sides, we can just use a spoon to knock it through. Do you want to do that too, Lola? Would that be easier for you? Yeah. So you can pop it down and use your spoon. Why don't you press pause now whilst you sieve your flour and clean down your surfaces? We've sifted our flour, we need to add our spices and our bicarbonate of soda. And we need one tablespoon of the ginger, one teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of bicarbonate. That's it. Pop that in. Good girl. Next bit we need to do is weigh out 50 grams of the brown sugar. We probably need a good couple of spoonfuls, Milo. So keep going. Pop that in. Brilliant, Milo. Good work. Oh, yeah. The last bit we need to do now is weigh out 50 grams of our margarine. I'm going to use a knife to do this. So if you can just take out 50 grams for me and pop it in, that'd be great. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Lola. Who wants to get messy? Me. Both of you. I get Lola to start it off and make it into nice little pieces and then Milo, I need you to make it into the ball for me. If we use just our fingertips, we're going to tickle it almost, just to rub into the butter and the sugar and the flour. Smell it. Yeah, does it smell good? When they go into the oven, that smell will get even stronger, so we'll all be sat here waiting for them to come out. Good work, Lola, that's beautiful. Now that Lola's made these into lovely little breadcrumbs, we need to add in our egg mixture. We're going to use this with the knife. This will help just stop it from sticking whilst it's really wet with the flour and the sugar and the butter. So if you can hold the knife for me, Milo. We're going to make a little well in the middle. There we go. And let's pop it in. Blop, 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 blop. And then can you use your knife to cut through the flour? Let's do it together. And we're going to mix it all up. We have to catch all the sides. And eventually, it will become a lovely, stiff and smooth dough. Do you want to keep going, Milo, for me? That'd be great. If the knife doesn't work for the little hands, we have got a wooden spoon as well. Lola, which cutters do you want to choose? Um, I think I might pick this one here. Oh, the kangaroo? Yeah. Milo, which cutter do you think you'd like? I want all of them. <laughs> <laughs> So we've just got most of this together with a spoon. Anything that you're not sure will come together with a spoon, let's use our hands. We get it into a nice ball. There we go. Oh, that looks fab. Yeah. And then we're going to divide it into two pieces so you can roll it out and then cut out our shapes ready for the baking trays. Right, so there we have our dough. We've got it in a lovely smooth ball. I'm going to divide it into two and we're going to sprinkle some flour onto our chopping boards. So Milo, are you ready? Let's give a little sprinkle on your board and on your pin. Pop it down so it doesn't stick. And you, Lola. And on your rolling pin. Perfect. There we go, there's yours and there's yours. And you need to kind of roll it out about a centimetre thick. It allows the um, biscuit, once cut, to hold together. If it's too thin, it can break quite easily. So if you use your palm of your hands, not your wrist, just to the palm of your hands and give it a quarter turn, give it a little, little shimmy and then we're getting it nice and even. That looks great, Lola. And we've got those lovely flecks of the orange coming through from the zest that Lola grated earlier. Got your cutters here, Milo. Which one are you going to start with? I'm going to start with this one. Give it a wiggle, Milo, and then we'll take the cutter out and then whoop, we can give it a little tap. Do you want to give it a tap? Sorry. Or a shake or a shimmy. There we go. There's our first dinosaur. I'm going to have this that one. one. It's like, 
What's that one look like? Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Lola's cut out one, two, three, four, five lovely shapes there. You've got kangaroos and piggy wigs. Yeah. Yeah. Whilst we all cut our shapes out, why don't you press pause now? Now this is the best bit, because we've cut out all our shapes, now we're ready to decorate them. We're going to get some dried fruit that we've got. You can use currants for eyes or cherries, for tummy buttons or mouths. We've got loads of different ways of doing it. Let's yeah, give them a little push down so that they stick in. I'm going to do this one as his little belly. No, no, the, no, these are spots. Oh, it's come out in spots. If you want to take time decorating yours, why don't you pause here and we'll see you in a minute. For this bit, we'll need to get a grown-up nearby to help us bake. So I'm going to put them in the oven. The biscuits should take about eight to 10 minutes to cook or until they turn golden. Why don't you press pause now and we'll see you in a minute. Brilliant. I want to eat them straight away. We can't eat them straight away though because they're very hot. So we're going to put them on a cooling rack. Lola, can you get the cooling rack ready? Milo, here's yours. Very hot tray, do not touch. There's yours, Lola. We're going to use a fish slice now just to put them onto the cooling rack. Gives them a chance just to cool down all over. It might be a good idea to get an adult to help you with this bit. There we go. There we go, last one. Wow. So there we have our delicious gingerbread biscuits. Our biscuits are lovely and cool now, so we're going to serve them up and then we can eat them. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's put them up. There we go. Wow, look at them, they look great. If you'd like to have a go at another recipe, there are more cook-alongs for you to explore. We'd love to see what you've made Take pictures and tweet them to at Eat Happy Project, hashtag Let's Cook Along. I can't resist it. Can you not resist it? I can't resist it. We're so excited to try these, aren't we? Can I try one? Yeah. Which one can I have, Milo? I have a piggy? Yeah. Fantastic. Let's have a go. Oh, wow. Wow, really the yummy. ginger's great in it. Do you like it, Milo? Would you make them again? Yeah. Yeah, nice and easy, aren't they? Yeah. We've all really enjoyed making these. Hope you have too. Say goodbye. Bye! Bye.